Time now for an in-depth look at the market news on this Christmas Eve. And for that, I'm joined on the line by Dr. Kim Sewan, Professor of Economics at Ewha Women's University. Professor Kim, good afternoon. Good afternoon, David. Well, according to a report from the Bank of Korea, as we just uh, heard, the country's household debt for the first time has surpassed the country's GDP. And if you combine that with corporate debt, it's twice the GDP. Tell us about that and what do you make of the situation? Yes, as we heard from previous uh, report, uh, Korean household debt is increasing rapidly after the outbreak of the uh, pandemic. According to Bank of Korea's uh, recent report, the loan supplied to households increased up to 1,682 trillion won in third quarter. Uh, that means uh, household debt increased by over 7% compared to the same quarter in the previous year. And the size is slightly more than the size of uh, Korean GDP. Uh, the size of household debt has exceeded uh, the size of GDP for the first time in history. And, and there are uh, two major reasons for this household debt increase. Uh, the first is uh, more self-employers uh, who were hit hard by pandemic borrow uh, money uh, to maintain and continue their uh, difficult business. And there are more uh, individual investors to borrow money to, to finance their uh, stock investment. So the increased household debt could be another risk factor to Korean economy. Well, in other news, uh, Professor, the price of oil has uh, rebounded from a recent dip on expectations of a recovery in demand in the U.S. It had fallen on news of the new coronavirus variant in the U.K. So what's happening with oil and what's your outlook? In yesterday's international oil market, uh, Western Texas Intermediate increased by 2.3 percent up to uh, $48 per barrel. Uh, it was a uh, rebound after the three straight day uh, decline. Uh, in U.S., uh, the world's largest oil consumer, uh, crude oil and gas reserves decreased more than expected, and that became a sign of oil demand uh, recovery. Uh, I think you know, until the end of the year, uh, international oil price will be fluctuating around uh, $48 to $50 per barrel level. Well, now, stocks on Wall Street closed mixed yet again on Wednesday. President Trump now demanding big changes to the stimulus bill that Congress has passed, throwing that into question again. What's the story today in the global markets? U.S. market was uh, mixed between Dow Jones and Nasdaq uh, yesterday. Uh, Dow Jones industrial increased by 0.4 percent, but Nasdaq decreased by 0.3 percent. Uh, U.S. President Trump uh, vetoes uh, defense policy bill uh, because he objected to some of the defense bill's uh, provisions, including those related to confederate uh, base names. Uh, this veto actually raised an issue of uh, U.S. Fed federal government shutdown and delaying fiscal stimulus package. So that veto became a, a, a powerful factor of limiting U.S. stock market rise yesterday. But today, another big gain for the Kospi, closing at another record high, above 2,800 points for the first time. Institutions and foreigners buying, while retail investors seem to be taking profits. Tell us about the local markets. There was a big rally in, in Korean stock market today. Uh, Kospi had 1.7% return, and Kostock had 0.6% return today. Uh, particularly, as you talked about, Kospi had has exceeded uh, 2,800 level temporarily for the first time in history. But unlike before, uh, today's market boom was uh, led by uh, foreigners and domestic institutional in in investors. Uh, on the other side, domestic individual investors sold stocks aggressively. So we should pay attention uh, whether uh, domestic individual investors' uh, pattern is changing. 
Indeed. And uh, before we go, Professor, analysis from the Bank of Korea has suggested that there could be an economic recovery that does not restore jobs. And for low-income people, uh, this will obviously hinder a recovery in consumption. What do you make of this and what needs to be done to achieve a solid recovery? Basically, the COVID pandemic enforces people to stay away to each other. So if we take a look at economic situation from the outbreak of a pandemic, uh, business owners in service industry and self-employers are the hardest hit part of the whole economy. Uh, the service industry covers 70% of total employment and 60% of total GDP. So, so service in the industry is simply the, the most uh, important main part of the Korean economy. But manufacturing is slowly recovering because of the export increase and physical investment increase. Uh, so service industries recovery will take uh, more time and efforts. I believe it, it is time to make a decision on another round of relief funds uh, on service industry, uh, small business owners and self-employers. All right, Professor, thank you very much for that and uh, have a Merry Christmas.